Okay, so I think we're good enough to start talking about finding your style. I know I've had a live on this topic, but I want to stress the importance of this topic because everyone is trying to find their style. And think about it. Just by saying finding your style and how have you tried to find your style up until now as an artist, as a creative of any kind. When you say find it, you think about it looking outwards. Meaning that you try to... What's the word? To take things from here and there and I'm not judging it's not about copying others. I don't give a shit about that. Copy others if you want to, but you're doing it all fucking wrong. It's not about the judgment that you're copying someone else. It's about the fact that you are trying to get to your style and to your uniqueness by copying others. So you're basically going backwards, completely backwards. You may think that if you take a little bit from here and from there and from all the artists that you admire, you're going to put some stuff together and that's what's going to deliver your style and that's how you're going to find it. Wrong. Totally wrong. Why? Because talent is, what did I say up until now, it's, the, it's a pure expression of yourself. Now, style can kind of be the same thing. Here's kind of the difference between talent and style. Talent is, is what you do and style is more of how you do it. Maybe this kind of makes sense for you. But both of them are like this. So they are tightly connected and they are all about you. It's not about anything on the outside of you. It's about you wanting to say something, if you are looking for your style, and that's why so many fucking people are looking for their style right now, because people are so blocked in so much shadow, so many limiting beliefs of their own, they are trapped in their, their own mind, and they are looking for their style, because what that means is that that something inside of them that wants to come out their expression the thing that oh i want to fucking say something in this world like i'm here to matter right that wants to come out your voice your unique voice even if it's coming through an art like drawing or dancing or whatever and it's not verbal but that thing that thing that you want to say the message wants to come out and it needs a style, a way of doing things. A style is something that just comes naturally to you. Does it make sense up until here? If you are looking for it outward, it's not there. And I'm probably going to also mention this comparison thing. That people compare themselves so much with others. And you may think that style is about if you compare yourself with a lot of people, you know which one of your artworks is yours because it's different out of comparison. Does it make sense what I'm saying? So it feels like comparison is at the core of finding a style or having a style. But that's completely wrong. It makes logical sense. But here's the thing that's gonna fucking blow your mind. The way you find your style is by not wanting to have a style. Boom. When the attachment of the idea of needing a style is gonna go away, you are gonna kill it. That's fucking shadow. It's a lie. When that attachment goes away, that's when you are gonna just let yourself do whatever you feel like doing. It's not gonna be forced in any way. When you're forcing a style, you are kind of like trying to breathe while you are choking yourself. That's what you're trying to do. It's not gonna happen. A style is something that is... I said it before, it comes naturally. 
the reason why it's not coming naturally is because we live in a society where we are conditioned of a lot of things. And those are lies. Lies that we tell ourselves. And we think that it's our own thoughts, our own truth, but it's not. It's from the outside. The way you find your style is by having a talent cleanse in the first place. Killing the shadow, killing the lies, identifying them and eliminating the lies that are holding you stuck and afraid. You're basically afraid to express your style. You don't want to see it. You're not conscious about it, but you are fucking afraid. Because you don't trust it. You don't trust it. And that's why you start to take advice from people from the outside. But people from the outside cannot tell you what your style is. The only thing that they can do, which is what I can do for you, is to help you connect with yourself and to trust yourself. And it's easy for me or people like me to see through the bullshit that you tell yourself, to see through the lies. Okay. There was one thing that I wanted to get to. We were talking at the beginning about finding, because we're not actually finding the style. So then what the fuck are we doing? I told you the style is within. It's at the core of you. Your talent, your style, your self-expression, what you want to say in this world. In order to set that, th that free, there are a lot of layers of conditioning that I've mentioned. Lies, shadows that we tell ourselves, you tell yourself. And what we do with them, we just kill them. So we're not finding anything because we're not looking through the shadow and just putting the shadow aside. No, we want to kill that shadow. We want to kill the lies completely. So we are just peeling off the layers and dismantling them completely. And so basically we're not finding the style. We're unveiling would be a proper word. A more... I don't have the word for this. A more suitable word. Unveiling your style. Okay. I guess that's it for this video. We've covered it all. Unveiling your talent. You start doing that by getting rid of the attachment of needing to find a style. And the most important things in life are those paradoxes because paradoxes are two opposites that are true, but the opposites are basically two sides of the same coin. And this is, again, what I can help you with in the free Facebook group, Talent is Your Mistress, where I'm going to start this challenge called Chaos Artistry, and we talk about killing the shadow, which is a talent cleanse, and then we talk about those paradoxes, those subtle nuances that are so fucking important. And it's between flow and control. It's about having something unique to say, which is your style, but then not wanting to have a style and that's what's gonna, not needing a style and that's what's gonna get your style to shine through. It's f fucking fascinating to work and explore all those things and all this magic that is inside of you. So if you are ready, prepared to find your style, it's not about the aesthetic, although it is, but in order to find that aesthetic of yours, which by the way will change through time because you change, you evolve, it's all about the energy behind it. Talking more about talent and the energy behind the talent, 
in the group Talent is Your Mistress and getting into more practical shit in how we actually do that. So join me there for free or if you want to work with me one-on-one as a paid container, contact me for details. Bye, guys.